Hello geographers, my name is Mrs Broadrib and I'm a teacher at Wildon School and this is for the wonderful geographers at Wildon and any student out there studying geography. Okay, let's get down to business. Today's podcast is all about the human causes of greenhouse gases. Now, quick little recap. We know that greenhouse gases are mostly carbon dioxide and methane. They act like a blanket, trapping heat in in our atmosphere and are what are contributing towards what we call climate change. So the heating up of our planet, along with more extreme weather events like storms, and then sadly the melting of the ice caps and rising sea levels. So we're going to focus on today on how humans are contributing to carbon dioxide in our atmosphere and methane, the two greenhouse gases. Okay, first part then to take notes and the first thing I want you to write down, one of the biggest causes is we burn fossil fuels to make electricity. Pause me for a moment if you need to and make sure you've got that subheading. We're burning fossil fuels like natural gas and coal actually to make electricity. Now this electricity is used in all aspects of our life. It makes the lights work in your homes and your phone be charged as well as obviously in our factories, in our businesses, in our offices, in our shops. Now in the UK we have got some good news. We are now using much more natural gas and natural gas does burn a little bit cleaner so it gives off less carbon dioxide than horrible coal does. Coal is incredibly pollutive, very dirty and gives off much more carbon dioxide but still natural gas is a fossil fuel and by burning it in our power stations we are releasing carbon dioxide. Okay next up You are going to put number two and you're going to do a subheading of burning fossil fuels for transport. So pause me if you need to, but we're talking now about transport. So mostly here, let's add to your notes, we are burning fossil fuels like oil. So lovely, lovely oil. That's the petrol in my car at the moment, although I'm not going very far because it's currently locked down. I only go into my school once a week at the moment on the rotor. But we use this oil in all sorts of things. We refine it, we make it into diesel and petrol. We use it in cars, we use it in planes, we use it in ships, we use it in trains. So essentially, unless you're walking or you are cycling, we are obviously using this fossil fuel, releasing carbon dioxide, for our transport. Next up, the number three, you are going to put a subheading. We actually burn and we clear rainforest vegetation, which releases carbon dioxide. So deforestation is the proper term. Maybe pause that. Make sure, pause me for a minute, write down deforestation. So what's happening is essentially in large areas of the rainforest, such as, for example, in Brazil's Amazon, they are deforesting, they're chopping down the trees and the small ones left and areas of vegetation and some of the trees, it's a lot quicker to actually chop it down, to actually set it alight, let it burn. And then we're using the rainforest later for things like farming and things. Now, I read some scary statistics about how much was burned recently. So I found 2019 for Brazil, I found a figure how much was burned and I want to put it into a size. In terms of sizes, it's just over 20,000 square kilometres of Brazil's Amazon rainforest was burned in 2019. So it's the most recent data. I did a big search. I didn't just pick the first link. I was trying to get it. So I was using lots of different websites. Now, in terms of sizes for you, our entire county of Hampshire, where we live, covering the New Forest and across to Portsmouth and Haven and then upwards past Winchester, go up the M3, drive about 50 minutes to Basingstoke and and Andover. We live in a fair well-sized county. Our county is 3,700 kilometres. So we've lost 20,000. So the 20,000 kilometres they think has been burned. So let's just do the little bit of maths there. Let's round it up and let's say Hampshire's 4,000 kilometres. We've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So it's over five times the size of Hampshire to put it into context. So 
there we go we have got number three there burning the vegetation which releases the carbon dioxide next up we are moving on to methane now so pop a subheading for our cattle releasing methane gas and if you need to have a pause of me whilst you do that so essentially, we are raising cattle like cows, like obviously sheep and things, but especially cows because we get meat as well as dairy products like our milk and, and things for butter and yogurt and cheese and so on. And I'm going to be a bit rude here, but essentially the cows, let's just take cows as our, as our main cattle there, they burp and they fart. And yeah, I know it's a bit funny, isn't it? But they release methane gas. Now, the National Geographic, so this is a very, very reliable source here, they state that we think up to 40% of all the methane gas is actually coming from our cattle farming. And with 1.4 billion cows in the world, I am not surprised there. So I hope that makes sense. I want to move on now to number five. The fifth reason, when sticking with methane here, is we grow a lot of rice which releases methane. Now, I particularly like rice. Oh, I love it. Had a curry with Mr. Broadrib I did last night and made rice with um, a bit of saffron. Oh, it was lovely. Now, rice actually grows in something called a paddy field. It actually grows in water, okay? And when these paddy fields, when these fields of rice are actually filled with water, what happens is this water is low in oxygen and so it's a natural home for all this methane producing bacteria which is released. So we've got a second reason for our methane there. So that is a second one for you. And then, <coughs> excuse me, our last one. This is a bonus one. We actually dump a lot of rubbish from our houses. So think about now, your home, your bin, anything that you're not recycling or putting out for compost. Most of our rubbish actually lands up, ends up in landfill sites, so it ends up at the dump. So this actually re re releases a lot of methane and we think it's 11%. 11% of all our methane from all our rubbish actually um, decomposing and rotting in our landfill sites. So in a nutshell, let's just recap on those six main human causes. We have got, we're burning fossil fuels like natural gas and coal for electricity in our homes, factories and offices. Number two, we're burning fossil fuels like oil for our transport in our cars, planes, ships and trains. Number three, we burn rainforest vegetation. So when we deforest, we also set the scrub alight and that is releasing carbon dioxide. Number four, our um, reliance on cattle, so on meat and on dairy, are grazing our cattle. They are farting and burping. They are releasing um, methane. Number five, the rice in the paddy fields, growing rice releases methane. And number six, our rubbish. If we don't recycle it, if we can't compost it, it ends up in our landfill sites and that releases methane. Okay, I'm going to thank you very much for listening to me. I hope that was a useful podcast. If you are a will student you've got a little bit more work to do so look at the google slides good luck well done and take care everybody i'll be back with another podcast soon